Hey guys, it's Mei Mei and we are back for part two of our little folio. Look how cute they are in there. Isn't that adorable? And I think they're just going to get thicker as we go. I want to show you what I did. I took a little time um, before I came to camera because I wanted to just kind of explain this and not let it take too long. By the way, if you want to see where we are to this point, we'll have part one linked for you guys in the description, as well as a lot of other videos that go with these folios for you. All right, so check this out. I went through, let me move these so we don't get messy. I went through and I was like, okay, I want to design these covers, but I wanted to design them in such a way that they don't compete with each other when I'm putting them in and out of the holder. So that says to me, I'm not going to do a lot of dimension, if any. I might do some, but it won't be like, ribbon and twine and bows and and bling it won't be like that but we'll see what happens but what i did decide to do was treat this like a card front like if i was going to design a card front that's what i decided to do so i ignored this piece okay i'm not going to worry about this piece i have a plan for it but here i treated this four inch space ironically that's pretty much a card front right by eight and a quarter as a card front i went to the internet because that's what you do and i looked up card sketches so then, <laughs> I'll show you what I did here. I found some card sketches that I liked and I just kind of took pieces from it and created my own sketch, okay? So this is my folio. This is my little piece I'm gonna ignore. This is my plan. You'll find out more about that later. And then this is what I took from a card sketch. Now the sketch was much more than this, but I liked this portion of it. So let me show you what I did. I went through my scraps and there's lots of scraps in this project, right? And I found a piece that could lay right here. So that can go there. And then I cut these little guys to lay in here, almost like little windows. And this won't be perfect. They will be when we put them on, but I'm just laying them here for now. So I have these little guys like this. And then I have the perfect spot to add a sticker, a cutout, an embellishment, something like that. So this is what I did for every one of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to prep this guy. Like I'm going to glue this down here and then I'm going to put it aside. And then I'm going to prep the next one and put it aside and do all four of them like that. So you'll get to see what we're doing. And if there's something I want to explain to you, I'll jump in and do it. But we'll let Tamitha just put some music on and kind of speed this up and you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> So there we go, the beginnings of the fronts of our folios. Tell me which one of the comments is your favorite, one, two, three, or four. I kind of think I'm gonna like four. Four's gonna have a piece here, but I don't know what it's gonna be yet. So let's look at that. This will be easy and fun. Let's start with this first guy. So I've got three places that I can decorate, and you know me, I'm gonna go to stickers first. And if you remember, I had this sticker sheet, but we also have another one. We also have this one. Vince brought this one in too. And I'm thinking this might be where I get what I want here because they're kind of, I think they're the right size. These are a little bit large. We might put some words on here from that one, but check this out. Let's go to this little sheet. I love this little guy right here, this little chair. And I think he might fit and really pop. And maybe if I add a little word underneath. So what if I put this little guy and I'm gonna use the camera to help me. I was gonna pick it up, but I want you guys to be able to see. I'm gonna use the camera to help me get it centered, if I can. I'm a little off. Let's go that way a little bit. Oh, that looks pretty good. Let's see. Good deal. Isn't that little chair cute? Oh my goodness. Now let's look at, will this couch fit? Because he might be cute down here and we can kind of stick with kind of the furniture theme. Do I have another? Yeah, there's another chair. This might be cute. So let's add the couch. Don't you love stickers? Don't you love them? I do. 
Okay, so here's the little chair, the other little chair. And then what we'll do is we'll find some little words that kind of go along with those. Let's see. So I'm just gonna go back to this sheet because look at all of this, how cute, right? So let's do our house. I'm gonna see if I can mix things together. Okay, this is a thought. If we do memories, blossom, and then I do our house, I think that will be cute. It doesn't say in our house, but it's kind of close. So if I do memories here, maybe we'll come from the side. Let's go like this, memories here blossom. I wish it wasn't pink, but it is here. You can always put a piece of um, paper behind that. And then we'll do our house in the middle. And then we may have some other little pieces we want to stick in. Let's just look. Since we said they blossom, how cute is it to put a little flower at the end of each one of these, especially this little guy? Do I have different colors? Yes, I do. Let's put this green one here to kind of bring some green to the middle. And then I think I saw, I'm gonna put this guy back because he's the same colors above. Yeah, a pale pink. So let's do a pale pink here. Uh, he blends in a little bit, but that's okay. We'll do him here also. So there'll be one on either side. And look, quick and easy, and that can be the front. Now let's talk about what I wanted to do here. I love when we get these long stickers. They're perfect for this kind of place. And I'm trying to decide what I wanna bring over. This floral is really cute, but the problem for me is it'll compete a little bit. I really think this black is gonna look so good on this polka dot, but you know what the problem's gonna be. I'm going with this black on all of them, and I'm only gonna to get to do it here. But I still think this is the place for it. I think on the polka dot and also with the black chair, I think this is the place. All right, let me get that lined up. Let me turn this sideways so I'm not fighting it. Let's line that up with the edge of the paper. And I'm just gonna barely stick it and see if it's right. Look at it from different angles. That's pretty close. And it's busy enough that I think it hides if it's not perfect. All right, let's open this guy up, lay it over and snip it off. That worked almost exactly at a scallop. I love when that happens. So bring that over and see how that just kind of instantly dresses that up. I love that. You could add another and I may but I may just come back and add another sticker or something later. I'm gonna stop here with the folio for now so I don't waste anything, but I'll come back. So let's go on to number two. I'm gonna do the same thing. We'll film it and let you watch it. All right, check it out. Here's what I did with the stickers. So you saw me add these, then I added the border, and then I went back and just added some little stickers here and there. Look how cute this is. So Shannon's been on vacation and she just got back and saw this paper pack for the first time and she's standing here just going, oh my cuteness, it is so cute. Look at this little scene, I love it. And then this guy. So those are my covers. And remember, I told you I'm going simple because I need to be able to slide them in and out. And here's what I wanna show you by that. Let's say that somebody wants to look at the third album. If I take the third one out, when I go to put it back, if I have too much dimension, it won't go in very easy. Look, even like this, I get a little bit of resistance. So that's how they go in. Now I wanna show you what I wanna put on here because I've already found it. And while Shannon's standing here, because she's not gonna believe it. Can you stand how cute this is? Those are precious. Okay, so this little sticker fits down here perfectly. Watch this, if I put him here, Make sure I get him pretty straight. Look how cute he is here. Now hold on, it's fixing to get better. Just hold on, it's so good. Let me show you, okay, look. This little guy says, 
This is us, and it points up to our albums. How cute, right? Yeah, I know, this is cute. This is so good. And then I also had, um, I wanna say I saw it here, and it said, I thought it said happy family. Maybe we'll just do family, and we'll just put it like here. Isn't that cute? So how easy, but it looks like we did a whole bunch of work with that little guy, and he's dimensional. Can you see him? I don't mind having dimension out here, but I'll tell you this. I'm not going to do a lot here because I want to put these on my bookshelf and have them like, you know, next to each other, blah, 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 and I know this one is family related. Isn't that cute? You can also use these little stickers on these sides, like these little guys right here. So maybe if you know, if you're, do let's say you're going on vacation and you're doing one vacation themed. You can do happy days here. No, it's a little bit wide. I'm gonna have to trim it. But see how you could do that and have little words on the side? I'm not going to because I don't know what's going in each one. I, want, I don't wanna like tell myself what has to go in it. So there's that. All right, now let's go back to the inside of our album. I'm gonna do one with you guys. And then the others I'm gonna do off camera and I'll show you. So let's go to folio one. All right, so off camera, I went ahead and cut. Um, <laughs> Shannon doesn't know this either. So, since you've been gone, we renamed our photo mat piece. This is now a doohickey. A doohickey. So, I went ahead and cut some doohickeys to go in. Our doohickeys are five by seven. So, there's one for that pocket. Really doesn't matter which one you use. All the paper packs match. So, you can be as, you know, as messy as you want, as mixy as you want. So, there's where those are going to go. And Shannon got back to work in her first job was stamping, um, I told her I needed 40, 11 of these. It's really like 32, I think, for these albums. But we, we, Shannon went ahead and stamped all these for me. And by the way, I wanna tell you something. These are from my scrap bin. So dig in there first. That's why some of these pages don't match. See how the colors are all different? I don't care because when the recipient gets it or when I fill it up, I'm gonna cover these anyway. But these are just four by six pieces of white scrap card stock. And like, you'll take one of your doohickeys like this. If I can get it out of there, there we go. And this will get glued down like this. And if you want to, if you wanna have it landscape, then you'll just stamp it this way instead of this way. And so that way, if you wanna put it back here and have it going this way, but I don't mind them all going up because my folio goes up. Now, you can also round the corners. I don't think I'm going to. I haven't done any corner rounding. I actually talked about it, how I wasn't gonna add any extra anything to this one. I just wanted to literally take the paper pack and see what it becomes. And so I'm not gonna round the corners at all, but I am gonna glue this guy down just like so. And you'll get one on the front, one on the back, and I can come back and add stickers or whatever I want to in a moment. So let's run through and do this real quick. All right, so I got my um, photo mats covered here. Now what I'm gonna do is take some more four by sixes and I'm just gonna place them around. You've seen me do this in other videos. You can place them high, you can place them centered, whatever you want to do. Do you have to use four by six? Absolutely not. Why am I doing four by six? I love the idea of taking the photo, printing the photo, mounting the photo. It's a lot easier, and I'm wanting to actually complete these guys this year. So rather than making my work hard, I'm gonna make it easy. And one way it's really easy is if you're gonna do like me and take the photos at the event, you can then send the photos to like a local drugstore. We have like Walgreens, CVS. Does Walmart still have a photo place? I don't think they do. I'm thinking about my Walmart, and I don't think they have a photo place. Do you? They don't, do they, Shannon? I don't I'm thinking they don't anymore. I don't know. I could be wrong. But wherever you can get photos printed, all you need is to get them printed in 4 by 6 And the best part, this particular folio is only going to hold eight photos. And you might be like, oh, I want it to hold a lot more than eight photos. Eight photos from an event for the day is, a pretty, is pretty good. If you can get eight photos from your picnic, eight photos from a wedding, eight photos from the beach, eight photos from the mountains, you know what I'm saying? That's pretty good. Um and you'll have a lot more space than you realize with those photos. All right, I'm gonna glue these in all throughout. I've also said this in a couple videos, but I wanna make sure I say it here in case this is the first time you've, you've seen this. The reason we do this number, the reason we put this in here, and by the way, if you are new, this is the stamp set we use. This one is called um, Picture Perfect, and you can change the picture sizes if you want. You've got some wording here, you've got place photo here, and also place photo here. So this is the one we use. You don't have to do four by six photos like I just said, but we just like that this works out perfect. Also, 
when I give this to somebody, all they have to know is I put a four by six photo here, here, here. That's all I have to do. So many times people say to me about folios, I love them, but I have no idea how to fill them up, especially if I'm giving them as a gift. I don't know how to tell the recipient to do it. That's how you do it. So if you want to edit the size, you can do that. The other thing I want to tell you is this, the way I do it, they mount that four by six and cover this whole piece up. If you want it to have a matte edge when they put the photo down, go ahead and add it behind your little matte piece. The reason I don't, I find that people don't quite understand that it should have a matte. I don't know, I just see this. And if they only have one place to cover, they're good. But sometimes if there's more hanging out, they might think something was wrong. So that's why I don't do it. However, if I was making this for sure for myself, lately I don't know if they're for me or for gifts because I get one done and somebody says I need a gift and I hand it to them, you know. So if, if it was for me for sure, I would probably put the little colored mat around, but we're not gonna do that today. All right, so let's look at this guy. This folio now has our little front. Then when we open it up, we have a pocket and a pocket with a photo mat with four photos right here in this little section. Um, this will be five, six photos, and this will be seven, eight photos. Now, what I would normally do is come back through and put stickers, but instead I'm gonna go through all my folios and do all my photo mats, and then we'll do that. So from this collection, we have some of these little dimensional stickers that I definitely want to use, but I'm going to use them on the inside. If I use them on the outside, when we're sliding these in and out, they'll get caught. So I thought if I put them inside, there's plenty of room. I just need to decide where I'm going to put them. And everyone won't get one because I only got one of each sticker. So everyone won't get one, but the ones that do, it'll be super cute. Like, look at this. What if I put this little house? Wait, there's some other stuff. Hold on. Let me show you. So there's these little picket fences, little grass picket fences. What if I do the little picket fence at the bottom and then I put the house to one side of the little picket fence? Are you kidding me? Oh, that worked out good too because the windows were yellow in the background, so it looks like they're clear. And then there's a little sun. That's a little hard to see, but I know he's there. And then there's this little hard epoxy that comes out of the chimney. So cute. Inside, see? it won't be an issue at all because it's the dimension is inside. It's thick, so only do one per album. See that? It's gonna be a little thick. But over time, and as I fill it with photos, all that'll level out. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is run through, and in these spaces here, I'm gonna use my larger stickers and give them some cutesies throughout. Okay, guys, let me show you where we're at. So we've got him all ready to go on our bookshelf, except for whatever titles. I do think you need titles here. I think that'll be cute. Even if nothing else, just dates. Like maybe you do this for the first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, fourth quarter, something like that. Look, I forgot the little cloud, so I went back and did those to add on there. And then let me show you the folios. So here's what I've done, and this is where I'm gonna stop. But the reason is I have all the extras for when I put the pictures in. But here's what I wanted to do. I wanted to go in and really put some little cutesies here. And we filmed that to let you see that happen. So everyone got that. But where photos are concerned, I'm gonna wait because I like to put a photo in and then put stickers around it. Look how cute that one is. I don't know what'll go here, but that, that one got a lot. It got a really nice piece, so that's why I didn't go crazy in there. And this one got a really nice piece too. But like for these pictures, look how cute. Oh my goodness. And I put that little bird here because he got, he got lost in the green. But for pictures, when I put the picture down, I'm going to want to put things around it. And that's why I kind of like to wait. So... This guy is ready for photos. I am to the point where the next step would be photos for me. Now, if you're giving this as a gift, that would be the next step. Do your photos and then embellish around them. We'll get all these guys back in here. This is a nice, meaty, like hefty gift. Like this would be so nice to get. This makes perfect sense to me as a recipient. I know exactly what to do with this. I know that it sits where you can see this end. It's so, so fun. So thank you guys for challenging me to do the holder because I think it definitely needed it. Look, my um, screen matches today a little bit. <laughs> and I love four in here. Now remember, like I showed you, 
if you do this measurement, which I did first, this is, um, I think this is two and a half inches wide. This one will hold six, where this one over here holds four. So whichever way you wanna go, if you want eight, just make this bigger. If you want two, make this smaller, you know what I'm saying? Okay guys, thank you so much for challenging me to do the little container. I love how it looks. I also love how good of a gift this is. You're gonna love it too. And like I said, I might have misspoke. This might be the gift of 2022 instead of what we had called earlier in the year. Now, I need a couple of things from you. Number one, if you've not heard about our Facebook group, we have a group called May May Made It and So Did I. The link is in the description. Go over there and join that group. You will have lots of folio inspiration there. Number two, if you want some inspiration, head to our website at maymaymadeit.com and check out our customer gallery. And don't forget to hit the red subscribe button here on YouTube. It's free. It just lets YouTube know that you like my content and want to see more of it. And it also helps me reach my big 400,000 subscriber goal for this year. And if we get there, I promise a blowout giveaway. You will win some incredible prizes. All right, guys. Thanks so much for being here today. And until next time, bye now.